talk to us about what's well, getting really good now. We're about to head to pedal the new Tusa FDs and catch some bass. We've got a little bit of weather that's going to sneak in on us, but we don't care because we're JK Media House and have fun. What do you think, Jim? I'm ready to go. What's going on in this truck? Look at these guys. Are we going, are we going fishing or what? Yeah. We're at our house here in Tennessee and we're going to be testing the new Cusa FDs out on the water. So we have folks with kayaks and with trailers and with stuff ready to go. I have my fly rod. I'll be in a Mayfly, but I'll be taking them into a lake and where the big bass live and hopefully one of them is going to be somebody's lap. all these little back channels of flooded timber. Once you go through this gap, there's section, 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 all these little sections, and there's fish everywhere. Hey folks, Bridget Howard with your Jackson Kayak Fishing Team, and we're fishing some flooded, heavy cover here today. My three go-to search baits for this kind of structure and cover, spinner bait. Blast it past cover, kill it, let it fall. You can get a reaction strike a lot of the time as it's pulling through that cover. Square bell crankbait, I've got a 2.5 on here. This guy is going to deflect, this bill is going to let it knock off the timber and not get hung up in all that heavy cover. So that's really good if you're trying to cover a lot of water too. Uh, once we kind of locate and find the fish, I go to the jig. The jig is going to let you get down in there. You've got a nice little weed guard here, you're going to be able to knock it, you're going to be able to feel everything as you go along, feel it fall over the edge of a piece of timber rest and a lot of times they'll pick it up on the fall and swim off with it. So those are my three go-to for heavy cover and uh, give them a go and you should be able to pick up a couple more fish. <laughs> 